In the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. I'm going to say that again because this is the really important part. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, and the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Things that are not seen. Things that are not visible. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called out to set for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a long time in a land he had been promised, as if he was in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same process. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven and as as innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. These folks, Abraham among them, died in faith without having received the promises. But from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confessed that they were strangers and foreigners on the earth, for people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, God has prepared a city for them. 